Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. Prime Minister Stephen Harper put our digital future at risk by signing on to the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement on Tuesday. To put it bluntly, this isn't something we want to be a part of. Forget that the TPP would extend big media's internet lockdown powers across the globe, and you're still left with the fact that there is virtually no forum for citizen or stakeholder input into this agreement. No, the TPP is so secretive, in fact, that sources say Canada will be signing onto already agreed upon parts of it, without seeing the text in advance. That's right, even our government doesn't get to read it first. What's more, we're taking a backseat to many other countries when it comes to our ability to give input. As a second-tier negotiator, Ottawa won't actually have much say. What we do know about the TPP, despite its secrecy, is that its intellectual property measures would give large media conglomerates new powers to lock users out of their own content and services, it would provide new liabilities that might force ISPs to police online activity, and it would give giant media companies even greater powers to shut down websites and remove content at will. Simply put, this is going to be a problem for our privacy rights, our free speech, and our online choice. The international pro-internet community is getting active on this file. If you want to get on board early, and we really need you to, you can sign up at openmedia.ca slash community. For the internet, this is Lindsay with openmedia.ca, signing off.